Now, this Malcolm Turnbull book is going to be pretty annoying, but there'll be some fun along the way, no doubt. A lot of people expect blue on blue warfare, liberal on liberal, and sure, we've already seen there's going to be plenty of that. It's called A Bigger Picture, but from what we've seen so far, the book has plenty of little battles, petty politicking and personal point scoring as well, and score settling, not to mention that as well. And one of the most extraordinary excerpts so far, though, is about green on green warfare, is what I call it, left on left. The most progressive liberal leader in the history of this nation revealing his green left camaraderie. Turnbull reveals his role as a liberal frontbencher in brokering the establishment of the left wing website, The Guardian Australia, in 2013. As Simon Benson reports in The Australian Today, the former Liberal leader also claims to have been the mastermind behind the creation of an Australian version of the left-wing news site The Guardian, urging its UK boss to set up in Australia, brokering its funding and also being instrumental in, in appointing two senior press gallery journalists, Lenore Taylor and Catherine Murphy, to run its editorial direction out of Canberra. Now, this is dynamite. It throws those two prominent left-of-centre journalists under the bus, for starters, exposing them as the hand-picked choices of Turnbull. The Guardian, Taylor and Murphy have always, of course, been supportive of Turnbull and especially his climate and energy policies. Taylor is now the editor and Murphy the political reporter. I contacted them for comment today, but I haven't heard back. However, Taylor published this piece, an explanation, if you like, prompted by the revelations. And in it, she confirms the essence of the story, adding some details and stressing the Guardian's ideological differences from the coalition. But this part... But his part in our establishment, that is Turnbull's part in the Guardian's establishment, might surprise some who approach relationships between the media and politicians on terms of mutually beneficial transactions, says Taylor. We don't work that way. But why hasn't The Guardian told us this history before? And while we know they've never helped the coalition per se, haven't they always supported Turnbull? In the book, Turnbull says he would have been happy to stump up the $20 million to establish The Guardian in this country himself, but it wouldn't have looked right. Here's more from Benson in The Australian. Given my political role, I could hardly participate myself, but I knew someone who would, Mr Turnbull writes. He then retells the story of how he approached businessman Graham Wood, who was on the political left and had been a generous donor to the Greens and persuaded him to use his fortune to bankroll an Australian edition of The Guardian. This is extraordinary. The Guardian is a free, green-left website that's antipathetic to the Liberal Party and economic development in this country. Now coalition supporters and MPs learn that Turnbull was behind it. It was always weird to see how much store he placed in it. He built his political resurrection partly on the support it gave him, replicated and amplified, of course, through the ABC and the former Fairfax Press. But to learn this green left media venture was actually Turnbull's baby is astonishing. And yes, as you know, a decade ago, I worked for Turnbull in opposition. But Turnbull now seems to think he was the victim of some sort of media conspiracy that News Corp, including this station, had it in for him and brought him down. That always sounded like the sort of conspiracy theory you'd hear from a Guardian reader. Well, it turns out it's the sort of paranoid explanation we've actually heard from a Guardian backer, a surreptitious, a surreptitious Guardian Australian founder. Now, every time a coalition politician is confounded by the Labor, Greens, Guardian, ABC, leftist nexus, they'll be reminded of a very special gift from a former Liberal Prime Minister that keeps on giving.